Hey guys, welcome to the video. So somebody from Europe was asking me about going to school versus just learning on their own and getting into freelancing. So let me cover this. I've covered this from the point of view of somebody in the US where, stu where student loan debt is an issue, where college is not free. Now in Europe, where he's from, college is free while well, it's paid by the taxes. So in essence, you're paying for it whether or not you go because it's built into the taxes, right? So he was telling me that uh, his parents want him to go. So that means, I assume he's younger. That means he's probably living at home. The programs he was looking at was either data science related, two years, or web development, one and a half years. He's wondering, should he do it? What should you do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, here's my thinking. Because it's free, well, you're paying for it in the taxes, so you're going to pay for it. Because it's free, it's only a year and a half or two years. Uh, you're, you're probably living at home, so you're probably not accruing any debt, right? You're probably living at home. So, and your parents are uh, saying, hey, you should go. So at that point, I assume you're quite young. Might as well do it. You might as well do it. Because what you could do is what I did. When I was in university, I wasn't studying, I was studying psychology. I started my first business on the side. And at one point, the business started to grow. I had to make a decision either continue with my psych degree or to uh, push the business out. So I decided to go with the business because school wasn't free for me. It wasn't as expensive as it is today. It wasn't as expensive as it is in the U.S., but it wasn't free. So I said, whatever, I'm going to go. And I was living on my own, so I said, whatever. So I started my first business. But if you live in a part of the world where the education is free, you're living at home, so you don't need to make money immediately, and you're going to pay for it in taxes anyway, right? Since the, the government pays, means you pay in some form. It's only a year and a half, two years. Then, you know, Moz will do it. Now, in terms of whether you're going to go into data sciences or web development, Again, that depends on the type of work that you want to do in the end. What I would do is I would maybe look at job listings, look at job requirements, and maybe watch some videos from data scientists, see what they tell you what the work is like, look at the type of coding they're doing versus web development. In a nutshell, when you're doing the data sciences, we're analyzing data, crunching data, developing reports and graphs, it's... Um, that might appeal to you, whereas on the other hand, if you're doing web development, it's more about dealing with, with clients, it's more about real world, you might be doing web apps and websites for companies, uh, maybe there might be front end possibilities for you, and there might be back end, it's, it's a different type of programming than if you're crunching numbers and creating reports, right? And depending on your personality type, you may prefer one type of programming or the other. In the end, though, both opportunities are, uh, or both specializations of programming, rather, there's a lot of opportunity in terms of work and business as well. But if you want to freelance, then you definitely want to go the web stack, web development, because you know small businesses are, are what you're, it's going to be your bread and butter. And most small businesses don't, do not need data scientists or uh, their reports crunched, right? So if you're thinking of going web stack, you're thinking of starting your own company, excuse me, if you're thinking of going freelance, you're thinking of starting your own company maybe, then chances are you're much better off, like I would say 80, 90% of the times, you're much better off doing the web stack. If, on the other hand, you like the idea of working for large organizations, you like the idea of, of uh, writing lots of code that, that calculates uh, and crunches data and creates reports and graphs and stuff, that sort of thing, then you could look at Python and the data sciences. Again, it depends on what you want to do. So there you have it. If, on the other hand, you're in the U.S. and you're looking at getting into massive debt, uh, then I would, uh, I would, I would, that, that changes the whole equation, right? It changes the whole equation. I would not go into student loan debt because student loan, loan debt is a very pernicious debt, meaning it's a very dangerous debt because you cannot ever get rid of it through bankruptcy. See, that's the weird thing about uh, student loan debt. For some reason, people in the West, at least in North America, decided that uh, education uh, is, uh, should, should, anyway, whatever reasons, they decided that students could not get rid of their debt through bankruptcy. What was happening is students were like, going into philosophy or taking acting courses and uh, for three years, writing up a lot of uh, 
student loan debt, which most of us covered by the government, by the taxpayer. And then they said, well, we're just going to go bankrupt. And there you have it. And so people said, well, we can't let students do that. So if they rack up debt, they can't go bankrupt and stiff everybody. You know, to me, I wouldn't have done it that way for a few reasons. First of all, we were 17, 18, 19, 20. You probably don't have the financial uh, skills and knowledge to be able to make these life uh, altering decisions, basically taking on massive debt that's non-dischargeable, meaning you can't get rid of it. So, and also, people going to debt to take the the arts and the philosophy degrees and the uh, the film degrees is kind of is totally silly. And taxpayer taxpayers, in my opinion, should not be subsidizing that. On the other hand, if you're doing engineering or uh, data sciences or uh, you know uh, medicine, etc., that's a whole different game. But anyway, yeah, that's the situation we're in. So if you're in an area, part of the world where the education is free, it's just a year or two, you're not quite sure what you want to do, and it's, it's free, you might as well go. You might as well go, because in the end, you're paying taxes. You're going to pay for the education one way or the other, so you might as well take advantage of it, uh, especially if you live at home and you're young. On the other hand, if you're somebody who is, uh, could be racking up student loan debt, very dangerous and pernicious student loan debt, and, uh, you're, you, you know, and you're not sure what you're going to do, then I would learn on your own. I've had a lot of people take my full stack course, and within a month, they're getting jobs. And in fact, because my full stack course is probably the only, or one of the only vocational full stack courses out there. What does that mean, vocational? Meaning it's very job oriented, my stuff. It's very real world oriented. So I've had people tell me, and you could probably find the comments under YouTube, they said that just taking my full stack course within a month or two, they got jobs beating out people with computer science degrees. Why? Because they learned real world coding skills from me and the computer science uh, graduates were learning academic coding, which is a totally different game. Now, I'm not saying all colleges teach academic coding, but a lot do. Anyhow, enough of that. So I hope this helps you out. Bye. If you're going to get into web design or web development, you're going to have to learn hosting sooner than later. Why? Because a big part of being a web developer, web designer, to understand servers and hosting, the different options. So this web hosting company, they trust that you're going to stay with them. So they're willing to pay for your web design training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You buy one year worth of basic hosting. That's what you need to start with. And you'll get access to my full stack web development course for free. So it's a very, very good deal. This is something that they approached me with a little while ago, about a month ago. I put out a survey, about eight, 900 people responded. More than half said they would be really into this deal. In addition to buying the hosting to get your free web design training with my interactive training system, Studio Web. This is much, much, much better than simple video-based training. Video-based training is fine. Books are fine. But what Studio Web is a fully interactive, gamified training system with instant response, instant help, instant feedback, so you know exactly where you are all the time, plus huge amount of quizzing and code challenges. There's nothing like it out there. We built it from scratch. Now, you may be somebody who's already done my web development course, and you want to maybe get into my freelancing and entrepreneur course. So what I will arrange, when you buy the web hosting from the company, you could either choose the web stack course, or if you want, I'll create another package that you would get for free, the entrepreneur and freelancing course. Now, there you go. So you got a great option. So you want to get into web design development, have the web hosting company pay for you. You need to learn about web hosting anyway. Some of you may be asking, yeah, but I'm just starting out. I'm, I'm not going to need web hosting right away. With my course, within the first hour, you can start uploading your web pages to the live server to learn how to use a live server, understand domain names, all this kind of stuff. Consider it part of your training. 
Now remember, a lot of people will go to boot camps and pay five, ten, twenty thousand dollars to learn real world software development and web development and so on. This web hosting company is going to pay for you. You just got to buy one year worth of basic hosting from them. That's it. Now, on the other hand, if you already know your web design development and you're ready to monetize it to turn into either a business, freelancing, or maybe get a job, again, get the web hosting. A good way to promote yourself is to get a website up. Everybody should have a website, your own personal website. Remember, you can't just have a social media presence anymore because you see... You know, regardless of the politics, social media giants like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, if they don't like you, it can shut you down. So you have to have your own website. So if you're really interested in the entrepreneur and freelance course, I'll throw that in as a package. So you have two options. Get web hosting, get your web stack training, or get the web hosting and get your entrepreneur and the freelance course for free. They're going to pay for it. The company... Trust that you're going to like their service so much that they're willing to pay for your training. All right. I hope you like this deal. Link below. Thanks. Bye-bye.